Hi everyone, welcome to your latest planning outlook updated on Tuesday the 16th of June. Now for the rest of this week it's still a similar slow moving warm humid atmosphere across the British Isles which will bring some further thunderstorms across the mountains really hit and miss in places from day to day. Things then get a move on as we move into the weekend as Atlantic uh, southwesterlies resume. It still brings something rather unsettled though with some wind and some rain in the forecast at times with just a hint of pressure gradually building from the south next week. Now it's all still a very slow moving pattern that's in existence across Britain and across Europe as we go through the next few days. Uh, generally an unstable humid atmosphere is just uh, rotating around with bits of fronts and troughs just changing the distribution of uh, some of those thunderstorms uh, from day to day. For Thursday at least it may just be that higher pressure across Scotland means that things are comparatively drier but then some of that instability gets drawn back northwards again as we head through Friday. Things are changing though by this point because we're starting to get the influence of an Atlantic weather system coming in and that will then push things along as we head onwards through into the weekend. It all gets a bit of a kick up the backside basically with some wind and some rain sweeping in from the southwest. The risk of upland gales at times then this weekend with that weather system coming through. A frontal system with some rain followed by some showers and that general south by southwesterly flow is likely to be around into next week. It may then bring some heavy rain to the west and northwest highlands. A bit of uncertainty how far that gets early in the week with some suggestions of higher pressure starting to build from the south uh, with time and it may be that that extends further northwards. Bit of uncertainty just how soon uh, we get settled even across Scotland. It might just be that that changeable mixed westerly hangs on for a bit longer into next week. That's your general view then. Let's have a look at some details for the next few days and it's one of those times where actually it's quite awkward to get the precise information more than a day or so ahead with these slack areas of low pressure. Now, Wednesday sees the greatest risk of some thundery downpours across uh, more western regions of Scotland, across western parts of England and Wales with uh, the risk of some very slow moving torrential bursts of rain and thunderstorms forming in what is still a very unstable atmosphere. A lot of low cloud, particularly across eastern areas uh, through the morning, will lift and break a little bit but will all form again to various levels where any of those downpours do exist. Not much wind to move them along, so if you do catch a burst of rain, chances are you're stuck with it for a little while. Slight change of emphasis then on Thursday. It's just a developing centre of low pressure, albeit a very shallow one, which exists across England and Wales. A rotation of a front is just trying to push westwards and northwestwards with time. Uncertainty as to how far that extends, let's say, into the Lake District and North Pennines. It might even extend into the south of Scotland if it really starts to rotate through the day. I think at this stage the emphasis is a bit more on Wales and the southern half of the Pennines, but uh, precise detail on that just needs watching. Meanwhile for Scotland not completely immune from an isolated thundery shower breaking out but pretty well scattered in many places more likely to stay dry through the day. An easterly wind is around not much of it but may just strengthen a touch across the Pennines. Light winds overall for much of the highlands. All of that instability across England and Wales on Friday starts to get drawn back northwards with time so an increasing risk again of some bursts of thundery rain just popping up across uh, Scotland through Friday. What's left of previous rain from Thursday might still be hanging around on Friday morning for England and Wales. It's one of these situations where if there's been some thunderstorms the night before then the residual parts of that are still going to be around first thing in the morning. It's just a classic summertime pattern in the unstable atmospheres so that's one to bear in mind for the next few days in this situation. Where there's rain around there'll be low cloud there'll be some breaks around as well. Exact detail for Friday does just need watching it must be said at this stage. This is where things are really starting to change though as the Atlantic is moving its way back in into the weekend. Timing uncertain it might just be Saturday finds some window of dry weather. A few showers though are still possible just tracking northeastwards through the day. Uh, with uh, a risk of deteriorating with cloud and some rain and strengthening winds sweeping in from the west with time during Saturday. As I say, timing is going to be crucial just in terms of uh, how the day itself turns out. Just be aware of that low to the west starting to move in though. Now we're into a fresher air mass through into Sunday as a cold front clears eastwards, weakening as it does so with maybe just some patchy rain for a time early on across England and Wales, that clearing to some brighter skies and some sunshine. 
We're watching though for areas of showers coming in on this uh, strong southwesterly into western Scotland that could merge into some longer periods of rain and some low cloud over the hills, drier toward the east and the north of Scotland and maybe dry for a fair amount of the day for England and Wales but we just need to watch again exactly what this low does as it comes in from the Atlantic. It's a blustery day, it's the risk of gales on the higher tops at least for a time during Sunday so uh, a much more mobile weekend compared to the very almost flat calm conditions we've seen just through the middle of this week. Now the general trends for the final week of June showing that high pressure eventually wants to become centred just to the east of us focusing around Scandinavia whilst low pressure is uh, toward the west and northwest around Iceland so it's not really entirely sweeping in completely through the week that's the uncertainty as just to how long lived any mixed west or southwesterly winds are across Scotland it might be that that high pressure just generally extends in and drier, warmer conditions become established a bit more widely across the British Isles. The general airflow trying to come up from the south, so temperatures are expected to be on the warm side. We then need to watch as often in these sort of situations for when the breakdown develops. If some warm and humid air gets into the mix again, it could be that by the end of the month, let's say, that something thundery starts to get drawn back into the mix. Plenty to keep an eye on then over the days ahead. It's not a settled spell of weather by any stretch. There's a few windows opportunity in there, so stay up to date with all your local forecasts. Thanks for watching this video today. Bye for now.